Hey everybody, uh, Rick here again. I uh, wanted to go over something real quickly that I found today at work. Um, I'm going to be trying to post the videos of some of the general and maybe harder things to find on uh, HVAC, commercial HVAC, and just general HVAC uh, controls and problems uh, that I run across that might help somebody down the line that runs into something similar of a problem that I have. Uh, today I've got a couple of uh, EAC towers, Warwick level control for water, um, electronic water level control for a makeup water solenoid inside the building, uh, uh, the school, the penthouse of the school, a mechanical room. And uh, what I was having problems with is it essentially not allowing any makeup. Uh, the light was constantly lit on the board uh, as if it had water up above the uh, probe levels a couple probes here. I actually have one of the uh, probes taken out. I believe it's the low probe um, or the one that's just between that length and then the ground probe. Uh, so you have two, three probes in, on this one, um, you know, ground, high, and a low. Um, and originally when I came to the job and the engineer told me that this thing wasn't making up, uh, he regretted to tell me or neglected to tell me that the box was actually filled with water at one point in time, uh, which he then told me they had dumped out and it was dry when I originally looked at it. So I saw staining, but nothing water-wise inside of it that would have indicated that it had flooded over recently. So you can see I've done two of the terminals right there. I've kind of wiped things down in here because it was kind of covered in rust and put some of the porcelain insulators back in place. Now, you can kind of see that this probe right here I haven't put back together yet has some exposed uh, porcelain from the inside and then actually the uh, thread for the stud that the wire connects to. And I've seen this happen before on flame rods uh, that have this multi-piece design for a probe connection where uh, moisture, condensation, uh, you name it, will wind up getting in between the outer sleeve of porcelain, which I'm going to show you screws on over top of this thing. And, uh, the inner portion of the stud that is exposed to uh, that trapped moisture. So uh, this is the sleeve right here. So when I pull these off, they go on just goes on the stud essentially like that and slips over top. So that area between that top portion of the sleeve and the stud, that area underneath here, when I pulled this off, had water uh, in between it. So that essentially makes contact from this stud to the body of this threaded portion of the probe, which is essentially your ground. Um, and it causes it to you know, misread, and in this case, essentially just act as if it has water in it when the tower was actually running dry. Um, so, like I've done with the top two terminals there uh, is uh, I have some just, you know, silicone, RTV silicone. Um, you, know, you can use any color, this is clear. Um, and I will take it and I will pack it inside of the outer sleeve here and essentially just push it over top of that stud filled with silicone and wipe the excess off after I put the nut on the stud. And you can kind of see there's a little bit of silicone sitting around the outside of the other two because I've already done those. And what that does is it helps to keep moisture out of that area in case for any reason this area was to flood again. So that way the only exposed portions that might be susceptible to moisture carrying current across the probe terminals would be from the top of the studs here to the body of the ground here or to the threaded portion of the uh, stud that threads into this body. It's uh, almost like a brass body. So, uh, like I said, I've done the same thing for um, flame rods on equipment where, you know, flame rods that are exposed to air that's traveling across it or, or the elements when the burner is off, you might see the same thing uh, on a multi-piece design porcelain, uh, you know, flame rectifier. Uh, essentially just a flame rod where if you pull them apart you'll see staining inside of this little porcelain 
you know, sleeve right here, uh, rust, uh, something, you know, that indicates that there was moisture in there and, and then has dried up. Uh, I work for a train representative here in Washington, D.C., and we've seen this multiple times on train and telepack uh, one units where sitting in a moist climate overnight, uh, moisture can build up inside of these terminals. And then in the morning, when it goes to fire off for morning warm up, uh, that moisture carries over and it causes a flame failure due to the uh, voltage uh, not going back to the controller but actually shorting the ground through the moisture that's built up inside of these sleeves. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show is how to hopefully rectify this. I'm going to put this last third one on and see if everything works out okay. It should, in theory, it's all about the same as the flame probes which I've done before. But this one was a little bit of a head scratcher because I replaced this board thinking that we might not have had the right voltages coming out of the probes, uh, which is what I thought originally, but after the engineer came up here and talked to me about it a little later on, I kind of figured out what was going on at about the same time. So hopefully I have a little bit of an update for you if I can post another video in regards to this or show you guys what's happening after the fact. I'm going to put this thing back together and see what it's going, what it's doing. Thanks again.